Welcome back. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this journey through GPS. I certainly have enjoyed working with you. Uh, I know we haven't met one-to-one, -one, uh, but uh, I have been following the forum and uh, I admire you for uh, the generosity and the respect that you've shown each other. So uh, thank you for that. I'd like to finish uh, the MOOC with a little bit of a forward-looking talk about what's next. What, uh, what might you do if you're interested in doing more with satellite navigation, more with GPS, more with GNSS uh, looking forward. So I have a little list here. Uh, professional organizations, there are beautiful ones around the world. Professional conferences, also true. Uh, contests, this is just plain flat out fun that people are having with navigation. Archival journals, for those of you who are uh, interested in placing things into the permanent literature. Trade magazines, we're blessed in satellite navigation with three really fine trade magazines. And of course, we can talk a little bit about potential employers. It's hard for me to know really what makes sense for you in that uh, realm, but uh, I'll give you a feeling for the breadth of the employment opportunities. Let's start by talking about the professional organizations. And th there's the list, it's a long list. All of those countries, uh, uh, either regionally or by themselves, uh, have an institute of navigation. You see some of the logos over there on the right, the Royal Institute and in the top right, um, the German one on the far right, and the Swiss Institute in the bottom. Uh, but the full list appears there, and these are countries that are th whose institutes of navigation are members of the EN. The EN is the International Association of Institutes of Navigation. So uh, uh, wh wherever you are, you're probably pretty close to uh, such an uh, institute. In the lower right, just to get you going, I do give the link to the Institute of Navigation in the U.S. and the one in the United Kingdom, both uh, very uh, mature and good organizations to be a part of. They do charge membership fees. Uh, by by uh, comparison to most professional organizations, they're very inexpensive, but give it a look. Uh, here is the uh, head, the home page of the U.S. Institute of Navigation. All kinds of resources listed there on the left, special announcements on the right. Uh, but most importantly and most interesting are the upcoming events, and the list is always long. Uh, if you go to the trade magazines, you'll get an even more complete international list of upcoming events. And what you see there is uh, December of 14, uh, Precision Time and Time Interval, PTTI meeting in Boston. The International Technical Meeting uh, in Southern California coming up in January of 15. Uh, conference out in uh, Hawaii, for those of you who are interested in going there. Uh, in April, and then Joint Navigation Conference, more of a military orientation in June. Uh, let's just take a little closer look at some of the big meetings. Uh, the really, uh, uh, my favorites, I should say, are the Institute of Navigation GNSS Plus meeting. It's always in the U.S., it's always in September, and it brings about 1,200 people to uh, some location, usually in the central U.S. In uh, 2015, uh, the GNSS meeting will be in Tampa, Florida. What you see on the right there is very uh, 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 common uh, uh, for uh, th these big meetings. Big exhibition hall filled with uh, companies that are displaying uh, their products, their wares. That happens to be at another one of my favorites, it's the China Satellite Navigation Conference. And that is traditionally in May in one of the central Chinese cities. In the lower left is kind of a glitzy photo. It's a nice one. This is from Southern California. That's actually for the January meeting of the Institute of Navigation. And uh, uh, so keep your eye on both the content and venue when you think about going to these conferences. The registration fee tends to be around 1,000 US dollars. So hopefully you can get your company to go. But even if that's not the case, uh, it, they're, they're very worthwhile in terms of reaching out to people in, in the field, seeing what products are out there, and listening to advanced papers in the area of satellite navigation. Contests and fun. Uh, the navigators uh, are very practical people, and we are building things like uh, lawnmowers, building things like snow plows. And these two uh, gentlemen are from the Cal, Cal State in Fullerton, and I'm not exactly sure what they're building there, but they sure look like they're enjoying it. 
You can see the little uh, miniature vehicle that they uh, have there with the tires on it and the uh, satellite navigation receiver just to the left of it. So uh, those kind of opportunities are uh, commonplace in navigation. Another example is this uh, device, uh, also built by some uh, California students, and it is, believe it or not, an automated lawnmower. So it's a very, very American enterprise uh, because all of America would like to know how to get their um, lawn mowed without having to push the lawnmower around themselves. So uh, uh, these kind of devices uh, were developed a few years ago. Archival journals. Uh, my favorite uh, is shown there. This is from the U.S. Institute. That's navigation. And these are for serious papers, uh, academic papers, high-level industry papers, uh, where each paper has been reviewed by two or three external peer reviewers. And so it's difficult to get a paper uh, published in navigation. Uh, the, on the other hand, the papers that you find there uh, are of very high quality. And so when you join, let's say, the U.S. Institute or the Royal Institute in the United Kingdom, uh, this journal comes as part of that membership. Uh, more broad uh, magazines are the so-called trade magazines. These come out monthly. Uh, on the far right is Coordinates. It's published by an Indian group. It's a, an excellent magazine. Inside GNSS, there in the middle, GPS World on the left, and I, I think that uh, the business and the study of satellite navigation is really blessed by these journals, these magazines. They're all excellent. And, and so I recommend that you go to their websites and get the electronic version. Uh, I think that's free in all three cases. They are very, very well worthwhile. And now finally, a list of employers or potential employers and Please bear in mind, this is, this is the, the, the shortest, most partial list you can imagine. Uh, the list, the in fact list, is much longer, but uh, we did our best to put down the leading names that we could think of, from the chip merchants in the upper left to military equipment in the lower right, and then the research institutes in the lower left. Of course, as you go from country to country, the research institutes are usually government funded, and so what I've put there, MITRE and Aerospace, are two U.S. examples, nothing more or less than that. So with that, I say so long. Uh, I hope to meet you out in the world someday, and uh, I hope this MOOC has served your purpose well. Thank you very much.